You ever feel lost when using English at work? Don't worry. In today's podcast, I'm going to cut through some of the difficulty and make things easier for you. In fact, I'm going to look at one small three-letter word that has a big job in business. The word is cut. I'm Grant, and I'm a business English confidence coach. I'm here to help build your confidence. In fact, my mission is to help millions of people change their lives by becoming confident so they can do anything they want in life. Welcome to today's podcast. In other videos that I have made, I shared with you that 64% of the most common words in English have more than one meaning. This is one big reason why English is so difficult to learn. In this podcast episode, you'll learn about 40 different ways to use the word cut in normal American business conversation. You might think you'd know what cut means, but I bet almost all of these will surprise you. I'll look at phrases like cut a deal and cut through red tape. These don't mean what you might think, but they're very important in business. Here's something amazing. Cut isn't even one of the 10 words with the most meanings in English. In fact, I made a video about the English word with the most meanings. It has 645 <laughs> meanings, if you can believe that. You can find a link to that video <laughs> up here. English can be tricky, but we'll figure it out together. <laughs> For each of these phrases that I'm going to share with you that include the word cut, I'll do each of these things. I'll give you the phrase. I'll give you a definition and an image of what many people think that phrase really means, <laughs> although that's incorrect. Next, I'll give you really what it means in business and give you the real business definition of that word. And then I'll give you example sentences of how you can use that word in your speaking. As always, I want you to use all these words, terms, and phrases, and use my deep learning method to say everything out loud with me. The more you can use my videos to practice your English speaking skills, the faster you will become confident in English. So this is called shadow. When I speak, you speak. And shadow me. And it really works. So use these videos as your English speaking shadow practice. It makes a huge difference. So please give it a try if you haven't done it before. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin with the first word. Cut back. Now, many people might think it means this to something behind your back, but that's not it. <laughs> what it really means in business is to reduce or use less of something, usually to save money. Here are some example sentences. Our company needs to cut back on travel costs this year. We are cutting back on paper use because it is not efficient. Now again, I want you to say all of these things out loud with me. The only way that cut back is going to become normal for you if the words come out of your mouth. Not my mouth, your mouth. So use these videos to help your English shadow speaking practice. It really works. 
Here's our next one. Cut down. Now, this has different meanings, and what many people might think it means is to physically chop or remove something, like a tree. And they would be right. <laughs> that is one of the meanings. <laughs> but this is what it really means in business. It means to reduce something by a large amount. Here are some example sentences. We need to cut down the time we spend in meetings. <laughs> yes. The new computer system helps us cut down on mistakes. Cut off. Now, there are a few different meanings and a few different definitions for cut off. But here's the most common one in business. Many people might think it means to physically separate something from something else, like cutting off a tag from new clothes that you just bought. <laughs> what it really means in business is to stop providing something suddenly, uh, usually something important. Here are some example sentences. If they don't pay, we'll cut off their supplies. The phone company cut off our service because we forgot to pay. Cut out. Now, many people might think it means to remove someone from an old family photo. <laughs> like girlfriend or an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> But <laughs> what it really means in business is to remove or stop doing something completely. Here are some example sentences. We need to cut out wasteful spending. The new machine will cut out the need for this old process. Cut through. Now, many people might think it means to use a machete to cut through the jungle. And that's true. It does mean that. <laughs> but in business, it means to deal with problems or complicated situations quickly and effectively. Here are some example sentences. Our lawyer helped us cut through all the confusing rules. We need a simple plan to cut through all these complex processes. Cut corners. Maybe you've seen me talk about this before. Now, many of you might think it means to use some scissors and cut the corners off a piece of paper. But that's not it. I guess it could be it. <laughs> but what it really means is to do something in the easiest or cheapest way, often reducing quality. This is a great term. And here are some example sentences. We can't cut corners on safety procedures. The company was accused of cutting corners to save money. Cut to the chase. Now, <laughs> many people <laughs> might think it has something to do with chasing somebody for some reason. Start running after them. <laughs> but in business... And I think many of you might relate to this. It means to start talking about the most important thing immediately. And here are some example sentences. We're short on time, so let's cut to the chase. In the email, she cut to the chase and asked for a meeting. Cut one's losses. Now... <laughs> People might think it means to lower expenses, so you stop losing money. Hopefully, make more money. But in business, it has a really specific meaning. This is a good term, a really good term. It means to stop an activity that is causing you to lose money or resources. You see this a lot in investments. Here are some example sentences. The project is failing, so we should cut our losses and end it now. Sometimes it's smart to cut your losses instead of hoping things will improve one day.
How to deal. Now, many people might think it means to break an agreement or terminate the agreement. But it means exactly the opposite. And what it means in businesses is to make an agreement or arrangement with someone. Not to break it, but to make it. Here are some example sentences. We managed to cut a deal with our suppliers for better prices. The two companies cut a deal to work together on the new project. Cut and dried. Now, most people might think that, well, you cut something and then you dry it. Maybe like cut an apple and dry it so you can make dehydrated apple chips. And I suppose that couldn't be what it means, <laughs> but in business, it means something very different. It means decided in advance, not open for discussion, and this is the way it is. Example sentences could be, the procedure for handling customer complaints is cut and dried. Don't assume the deal is cut and dried until we sign the contract. Cut to size. Now, many people might think you need to cut something to make it fit a certain size. Like this poor guy. Somebody cut his shirt too much. <laughs> but what it really means is to reduce something to a more manageable size or to customize something to, to fit specific needs. Here are some example sentences. We need to cut this project to size to fit our budget. The new software can be cut to size for small businesses or large corporations. Cut your teeth. <laughs> no way you're gonna guess this. <laughs> Many people might think you try to cut your teeth trying to make them smaller or something, which I don't think I've ever seen anybody do. But what it really means in business, and it can be quite common, is to gain initial experience in a job or field. So here are some example sentences that explain this. Many programmers cut their teeth on small personal projects. She cut her teeth in sales before moving into management. Cut both ways. Now, many people might try to translate this and think, well, it's a special tool that can cut two different ways, this way and this way, like this. I guess that could be it, but that's not what it is in business. And what it really means in business is something that has both positive and negative effects. Here are some example sentences explaining this. The new policy cuts both ways. It increases productivity, but also stress. Working from home cuts both ways. It saves commute time, but it can blur work-life boundaries. Cut the red tape. <laughs> now, you might think you go to an opening ceremony for a store or something, they have a celebration, and you cut the red tape. And you'd be right. <laughs> but usually we'd call that a ribbon-cutting ceremony. And in business, it means something very different. It means to reduce or remove excessive rules, regulations, or bureaucracy. <laughs> Many of you know this, <laughs> know this feeling. Here are some example sentences. We need to cut the red tape to get this project moving faster. The new online system cuts the red tape in the application process. Cut to the bone. Sounds like a strange phrase, right? So maybe you're eating a steak and you cut it right down to the bone. 
Well, I suppose that would be true, but that's not what it means in business. What it really means in business is to reduce something as much as possible, often to the point of hardship, making it really difficult for everyone. Here are some example sentences. The company had to cut costs to the bone to survive the recession. We've already cut the, our budget to the bone. There's nothing left to trim. Cut the mustard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is common. And it's real. And it's not about taking a bottle of mustard and cutting it. <laughs> and by the way, there is no phrase to cut the ketchup. But what cut the mustard really means in business is to meet the required standard or to perform adequately at a certain level. Here are some example sentences trying to explain this. The new employee is struggling to cut the mustard in the fast paced sales environment. Our product needs to cut the mustard in the market or we'll have to redesign it. from the same cloth. <laughs> now you might think, <laughs> you might even guess this, but many people might think, okay, there's a big piece of cloth and from that I made this one design and then I made a different design and then I made a different design pattern. And that would be true. But really what it means in business is to be very similar and character, background, or attitudes. Here are some example sentences. Our new hire and the CEO are cut from the same cloth. They're both innovative thinkers. All our top performers seem to be cut from the same cloth. Cut into profits. Now, many people might think it means you have a profit and reinvest it into more businesses. But that's really not what it means. It means to reduce the amount of profit a company makes. Here are some example sentences. The rising cost of materials is cutting into our profits. We can't lower prices any further without cutting into profits. Cut prices. Now, I think most of you will know what this means. Thank goodness, right? After all these crazy words, terms, and phrases. And it means to lower prices. And that's probably exactly what you're thinking. So to reduce the price of products or services. Here are some example sentences. We'll have to cut prices to stay competitive in this market. The store is cutting prices on all summer items to make room for fall inventory. Cut a check. <laughs> now, many people might think that this means you go to a restaurant and you split the restaurant bill in half and you pay 50-50. You pay 50%. Your guest pays 50%. And, you know, it could mean that. <laughs> that would be okay. And this is really American, <laughs> crazy America. What it means is to write or issue a, a bank check for a payment, which is still common in America for some crazy reason. Here are some example sentences. We'll cut you a check for the invoice by the end of the week. The accountant cuts checks every Friday for approved expenses. Cut in line. <laughs> this one makes me crazy. <laughs> People might think it means you've got a line somewhere and you make a cut in that line. And I guess that could be true, but that's not what it means. It's going to be one of the most frustrating things when people do this. But it means you've got a long line, a long queue, and somebody unfairly moves ahead of others, often, often to frustrate them. It can also happen in a process or negotiation. Here are some example sentences. 
the new project, tried to cut in line for funding, but the board insisted on following the usual process. It's not ethical to cut in line just because you know someone in management. Cut in on? Now, many people might think it means you use some scissors to make a cut into something like a piece of paper or a contract, but that's not it. It means to include someone in a deal or to interfere with someone else's deal. So here's a couple of different definitions. Here's some example sentences trying to explain this. If you bring a major client to the table, we will cut you in on the deal. The competitor tried to cut in a, in our deal at the last minute. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> Many of you might guess this, but if you don't know middleman, you might think to cut out the person that's standing between two other people. And <laughs> that's kind of true. But what it really means is to deal directly with producers or consumers instead of going through a third party like a broker or an agent or somebody that's in the middle here. Here are some example sentences. By cutting out the middleman, we can offer lower prices to customers. The internet has made it easier for many businesses to cut out the middleman. Cut ties. <laughs> now, many people might think, maybe something I did a long time ago, <laughs> to cut a tie and never wear it again. <laughs> but it doesn't mean to cut a tie in half. What it really means in business is to end a relationship or association with someone or something. Here are some example sentences. After the scandal, the company quickly cut ties with a controversial spokesperson. You may need to cut ties with suppliers who don't meet our ethical standards. Cut and run. Now, many people might think it means to run away from a girlfriend or a boyfriend. <laughs> kind of means that, too. <laughs> and so in business, it means to leave a situation quickly to avoid problems or responsibility. Here are some example sentences. We won't cut and run just because the market is tough right now. Some investors cut and run at the first sign of trouble. Cut across. Now, many people might think it means to cut across a piece of paper or something like that. And it doesn't really mean that at all. <laughs> what it means is it can mean to cut across all departments, which means to affect or involve multiple departments or areas in a company. Here are some example sentences. This new initiative will cut across all departments, improving overall efficiency. We need a solution that cuts across the usual departmental boundaries. Cut against the grain. Many of you might not know what grain means in English, and if you do, you might think of it as this, and you're trying to cut a pile of grain. Uh, but that's not what it means. <laughs> what it really means in business is to do something in an unconventional way or opposite to the usual method. Here are some example sentences. Our new marketing strategy cuts against the grain of traditional industry practices. Sometimes you need to cut against the grain to stand out in a crowded market. Cut the ground from under someone's feet. <laughs> Crazy phrase, huh? You might think it means to use a big giant pair of scissors to remove the floor beneath the person. <laughs> but what it really means in business is to suddenly remove someone's support or 
undermine their position. Here are some example sentences. The surprise announcement cut the ground from under the negotiating team's feet. Be careful not to cut the ground from under your colleague's feet when presenting new ideas. Cut someone down to size. Now, many people might think you're trying to shrink someone that's very tall and make them shorter. And in some ways, that's kind of true. But in some ways, it kind of means what this is. It means to humble someone, to reduce their importance. Often, someone who's overconfident. I think you probably know somebody like this, or you have met somebody like this before. (laughs) Here are some example sentences. The tough questions from the board cut the overconfident manager down to size. Sometimes competition in the market can cut a dominant company down to size. To cut someone or something slack. (laughs) Now, slack is extra, (laughs) extra space in a rope where it's not tight, but it has some slack to it. And maybe you think that might be cutting that. (laughs) But that's not what it means in business. It means to be less strict with someone or to make allowances for really difficult circumstances. Example sentences could be, let's cut the new team some slack. They're still learning our processes. The client cut us some slack on the deadline due to the unexpected challenges. Cut to the quick. You might think it means to, like, edit a movie so fast. (laughs) But in business, it's not a really uh, positive thing, and it means to hurt or upset someone deeply. Here are some example sentences. The harsh criticism in the performance review cut the employee to the quick. We need to communicate the layoffs carefully. To avoid cutting people to the quick. That's a bit of an older phrase. I have used it, but I am old. (laughs) So you might not hear it that often. To cut a wide swath. (laughs) Uh, Most people might not have any idea what swath means, but... Let's talk about like a giant piece of fabric. And maybe you're trying to use these extra big scissors to cut a really wide piece of fabric. What it means in business is to have a significant and wide-ranging impact or influence. It's a really good term. Here are some example sentences. Our new product line is cutting a wide swath through the market. The innovative startup is cutting a wide swath in the tech industry. Cut it out. Now, what you might think it means is to, you know, cut out something. Maybe make a hole in something. Uh, But that's not really what it means at all in business. It means to stop doing something. Usually something annoying or inappropriate. (laughs) You might use this with kids. Let's look at some example sentences. Cut it out with the office gossip. It's unprofessional and harmful. If we don't cut it out with the overspending, we will be in financial trouble. To cut someone off at the knees... Sounds really harsh. Maybe taking some scissors and cutting somebody's knees. But that's not really what it means. Uh, But it is negative. It means to severely restrict someone's ability to act or succeed. 
here are some example sentences. The sudden policy change cut our sales team off at the knees. And there was nothing they could do. Be careful not to cut your employees off of the knees by micromanaging them. To cut your own throat. Now, don't translate this literally. That's not exactly what it means at all. So be patient here. So it doesn't mean to accidentally cut yourself while doing something. But... What it does mean is to do something that causes serious harm to oneself or one's own interests. Here are some example sentences. If we reduce quality to cut costs, we'll be cutting our own throat in the long run. Don't cut your own throat by underbidding just to win the contract. Cut the crap. Lots of other words you could use for crap, (laughs) but I'll try to be nice. So it might mean, uh, you know, if you don't know what crap is, you should look it up, Google it, translate it, use chat GPT. (laughs) So it might mean to cut a pile of crap, (laughs) but that's not what it means. It means to stop talking nonsense or to go get rid of unnecessary or dishonest things or people. Here are some example sentences. Let's cut the crap and talk about the real issues facing our company. The new manager's cut the crap attitude has improved team productivity. (laughs) Cut to the core. Now, you might think it means to, you know, cut an apple down to its core. And I guess that's kind of what it means. But in business, it means to address or affect the most central or important part of something, the core of something. Here are some example sentences. The CEO's speech cut to the core of the company's values and mission. We need to cut to the core of the problem to find an effective solution. A cut above. Now, people might think that maybe like a haircut where you make you taller than everyone else. But of course, that's not it. What it really means in business is something or someone that is noticeably superior to others. Here are some example sentences. Our new product is a cut above the competition in terms of quality and features. We're looking for candidates who are a cut above the average applicant. (laughs) Here's a fun one. A cut off your nose to spite your face. (laughs) It's not literal. I have said it. I've said it many times. (laughs) So I might think you're like cutting off your nose for some crazy reason. What it really means in business is to harm yourself in an attempt to harm someone else or to solve a problem in a way that causes more damage to yourself. I think you can relate to this. Here are some example sentences explaining this. Refusing to collaborate with That department is cutting off your nose to spite your face. We need their expertise. Don't cut off your nose to spite your face by turning down this opportunity just because you dislike the project manager. Okay, so this one doesn't normally have to do anything with business, but I like the phrase. (laughs) The phrase is to cut a rug. What most people might think is, well, you cut a rug on the floor. And I guess it means that, but that's not what it means at all in general usage. This is something that I have no talent or expertise doing, but it means to dance, especially in an energetic way. Let's cut a rug. Here are some example sentences. After closing the big deal, The whole sales team went out to cut a rug and celebrate. Our CEO is known for cutting a rug at the annual company holiday party. (laughs) We 
did it. We got through it. <laughs> Together, we learned 40 ways to use cut in business. Who knew? <laughs> One small word could do so much. I hope you feel more confident about using the word cut at work now. Knowing these special phrases can help you sound more professional when you speak English. And maybe more importantly, when you hear this, you'll be able to understand what native English speakers are saying. These things always don't make sense and they're not easy to use when you're speaking. But you've got to listen to people. And now you'll have an opportunity to understand what they're saying. You get more out of this if you use it to do your English shadow speaking practice. Listen to me, say what I say, and then you say it out loud, which is really my deep learning process. Thank you for joining me on this podcast. It's time to cut to the end. I'll see you next time. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.